Good morning, lords and ladies, or good evening, or whatever time zone it is for you. Um, so on to my basically Iron Throne series of hopefully tutorial videos and not too much ranting. Maybe, yeah, let's call it 10% ranting. Well, yeah, 90% ranting, 10% tutorial. Um, so this video is about attacking advice. And I'm not going to actually attack anybody, but I'm going to walk through all the motions, sort of, and show you exactly what you should do. So before you attack somebody, you should, um, well, find your target. I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to find a target because everybody's probably going to be shielded. But let's um, let's say that we can find a target. Okay, let's let's try and find a target. No, he left. Um, no, I think. Okay, so here we go. Yeah, he's he's shielded. I don't know why he's shielded. He's got a bunch of a bunch of spam troops. But, um, okay, so the first thing you do when you need to attack somebody is find your target. And um, so that's going to be difficult because in this game, shielding is really easy. So unless somebody forgets their shield, you can kind of forget it. You're not going to be able to attack anybody. But assuming that you could attack someone, here's what you would do. So you go into your manager buffs, that, that top left-hand corner kind of near VIP. Click on that. And then you would go into increase attack. Decrease attack, increase defense, decrease defense, troop HP, enemy HP debuff, and then you'd probably want to go maybe uh, march speed, march size, and then, um, let's see, I don't know about troop capacity, you could do that if you're trying to rob somebody. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, okay, so that's what you do. So you apply all of those buffs, and then, whoops. And then there's another buff that you could apply, and that's to your hero, and that's your aura. So then you go click this, and you equip that. And all of the buffs, they don't last very long. But don't worry, you're not going to be attacking very long. Um, it's just basically going to be like maybe a few seconds, pop in and out of your bubble, and so something like that. So what you do is you, you pick your target, you buff up, you apply your aura, you're probably shielded, or at least you should be shielded. You attack them real quick, and then after you attack them, you recall real quick, and then you rebubble. Most likely. That's probably your best bet. So, that's, yeah, I know. It, it may or may not sound like good advice to you, but that's probably the best strategy for the current game. There's no shield cooldown. You can just basically jump out, attack, and then jump back in. Um, so, terrorists, you're going to absolutely love this game. You're just going to just be able to attack and bubble. But anyway, you're only going to be able to attack when people are shielded, unshielded. So, good luck finding that, and welcome to Farmville. Um, in terms of um, equipment, Conqueror, Destroyer, and Dominator equipment sets, they're all basically the same thing. They each have a specialty, though. So, Conqueror is for infantry. Uh, Destroyer is for, um, for Bowman, and Dominator is for Cavalry. Now, if, for some example, for some reason, people aren't watching my video, they aren't building balanced troops, and they don't have 40 million T1 spam, then you may or may not decide which equipment to pick, otherwise they're all going to be the same stink. So what happens is, is you say that they had a lot of Bowman, then you would probably want to pick uh, Dominator and, you know, attack them with more cavalry. If they had, you know, mostly infantry, then you attack them with mostly bowmen. Anyway, so each troop has kind of a weakness. But at the end of the day, if you have 40 million T1 spam, if you're attacking someone 40 million spam, I don't recommend it. You're going to lose all of your troops. It's just not a recommended thing. And even if you had a big rally of 2 million people, you're still going to lose all the troops in the rally. I don't necessarily recommend it. So, yeah, make sure that they don't have the T1 spam. You know, the buffs are very important because those buffs, I mean, you're you're looking at buffs that are going to give you, um, let's look here real, real quick. Increase attack. It's going to be 100% attack increase. Now, if you go into research or if you go into your equipment, that buff that you just applied is more than basically you could get from maximum research. It's more than you could get from maximum equipment. 
So the, the effect of applying those buffs is going to have more impact going in here and doing really, really a lot of research. So it's just a heads up that the research is very important, equipment is very important, but don't forget those buffs. Those buffs are going to just be more impact than almost anything you could get from, from other things. Because remember, that was 100%, and this, oh, no, wrong, this, let's go into battle. So that was 100%. And this is going to give you only 7.2%. So that research there, you know, and then you're going to have more research later on down here, but getting that point is difficult, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So in terms of research and stuff like that, just remember those buffs are going to apply way more, you know, impact than, you know, uh, heroes, equipment, and things like that. So especially early in the game, those buffs are very important. So you see that um, my troop attack, okay, the infantry attack is like 700 and something percent, but that's because I'm, I'm, you know, my equipment isn't terribly too terribly bad. But you'll see right here that the troop attack is only 31%. So that 100% is, is going to make a pretty big difference. I mean, you're looking at, you know, let's say 10 to 15% of your overall buff is going to come just from basically temporary items. Don't forget those. It's important. Also, Remember that the best attack advice that I can give you is know your opponent. Don't go into a situation where you're going against a T1 spam. Don't do it. Just just forget it for now. Just stay in your bubble. Chill and be social. So the best advice I can give you for that is just, just don't attack them. If they have less troops than that, let's say 1, 2 million troops, and you have high stats, you can probably clear them. Maybe all the way up into, say, like 6 million troops. If you have really, really, really high stats and they have 6 million troops... It's probably possible to clear them out. You, you're probably going to take heavy losses, but so are they. So I, I would say that caps out around, and this is a guess, I don't really know. Somewhere between, you know, solo hit is probably going to be between 2 and 6 million troops. And a rally, okay, a rally is going to be more to your advantage. Um, and the rally leader's stats will apply. So if you had a rally of 2 million troops, and you were going to try and clear 6 million troops, and you had really, really high stats, and they had decent stats, yeah, it would be possible you know, go for it. Otherwise, just stay in your bubble, chill, and be Farmville. So attacking in this game is going to be basically people who have forgotten their bubble, and there's not going to be too much other opportunities. I know, but that's how it is. It's basically Farmville for now, and until it changes, say la vie. So attacking advice for Iron Throne as of May 10th, 2018, that's the best I've got for you. It's Farmville. Don't forget your buffs and be careful about who you hit. So, okay. Love you guys and bye-bye for now.